again we're back with B&M gift set starting off with the hot water bottles here uh, lots of different colors down here you had the small hot water bottles with a drink and a hot chocolate which I thought was really good lots of different colors for you to choose from you also had spirituality things here that moonlight is absolutely beautiful I do like that uh, some hand palm things to put your keys on journals from the sun star and the moon uh, lots of different things for your particular star sign from bracelets and necklaces but they never have a libra uh, they also had these crystals too which was like amethyst, amethyst jade uh, rose quartz uh, they were only five pounds so whatever you want to buy for somebody then you can go and take your pick uh, there were some little makeup bags and glasses um, with initials on or the star sign on that you can have if you know someone that's into the spiritual side of things more long hot water bottles they had in a range of colors uh, so you couldn't go wrong and they have more of these small things now I've got a little trick with this what I think you could do with this is take that in the car with you if you've got to go um, and pick up your kid from school or pick up your kid from um uh, after school activity or whatever just take one of those small hot water bottles and it says you put your heating on you can snuggle up with that you've got these trinket things with the star sign with what the words of what they mean and a wellness journal as well if you know someone who loves to do journaling uh, necklaces and um pens and stuff with the crystal on the top and different colors of journals and, and wellness journals as well you also had these dinosaur and bunny long hot water bottles that i think my little one would love even though it might be the same size as him they had them in long ones and short ones and they also had gonk ones there too and they had mugs at the bottom that you could put a biscuit in but it's only room for one so what's the point and at the bottom, you do have some money boxes, um, especially if you know a little one. So someone has just been born or one or two. Great to get them to start saving money. Uh, these hug hotties that you put in your microwave to warm up and then you hug them. Some cups with your uh, month of your birth and some trinket boxes with your initial on. Had some stress balls here, pineapple ones and rainbow ones that uh, are really handy to have as a gag gift or whatever for a secret Santa. So they were only three pound each so not too bad you also had this rainbow stationery set which was really good too um and then you had the more hot chocolate mugs affirmation cards and tarot decks if you know someone that's into tarot or getting into tarot a great way to start off to learn um, and then you had these bud things here, which I thought were presented very well. Some of them were put in with candles and bells that you could ring. It's like ring for Prosecco. Great gag gift there. Uh, more water bottles and warm socks and hairbands. The water bottles here are heart shaped, which I think is different and absolutely beautiful. And more hot chocolate mugs down the bottom with a gonk on the side of it. Uh, so, you know, everything's a bit different these days. Hot water bottles with animals and dicky bows for animals as well. If you know someone who is an animal lover, cats or dogs, especially in B&M, you can get some of these mugs. Um, they unfortunately didn't have one of our dog. We've got a Westie, uh, but they didn't have one there. So I'll have to keep checking uh, to see if they have one. Um, but there's you could fill them up with chocolates or sweets or anything and give it as a little gift a little secret santa gift or something like that you also had notepads and diaries with animals on and water bottles down the bottom as well with um, a cushion reserved for the dog which i thought was cool you had these sandwich makers and you had a greg's sausage roll maker as well and donuts so you know, if you've got someone who loves cooking or loves donuts, then get their own do donut maker. I really want one of these hot chocolate frothers. I think they look amazing and I love a hot chocolate. Uh, again, you've got lots of different ranges of things from popcorn makers to chocolate fountains to a candy floss maker um, and even crepes, which I thought was really good. Um, and churros too. Uh, you also got making your Big Mac sandwich there, so you could do that. Uh, you've got ice machines to make ice coffee with, and you've got slushy uh, machines as well, and all the things that need to go with it that my son wants, but he's not getting one. Um, so yeah, so if you like an ice coffee, get yourself an ice machine. Water fountains, uh, drink fountains, sorry, here, and a sharing platter with dipping sauce. If you're getting married next year and doing it on a budget, worth looking at those water uh, those drink fountains sorry uh, 
Uh, then you've got some gag gifts here and little stocking fillers from the um, light up ducks that you can put in the bath. Uh, there were some little tiny hand things, a pink party pong that you could have, uh, angry balls, so stress balls. Lots of different things, little tiny megaphones there, which I think would be great for parents trying to get their kids into school in the morning. Or is that just my kid? Bath games, so like a little basketball game to keep them occupied in the bath. Or if you know someone that loves basketball, it's a little secret Santa gag gift would be good. And then you've got loads of different fun games that you could have if you were having a family night and you have an other family round or you are having a Christmas meal with friends at someone's house, taking these games like Family Showdown a couple's quiz um i think there were charades in there and say what you see there was a range of things as well i think there was sports quiz yep yeah, there was a sports quiz right there um, movie and tv quiz too great little things to take if you're having a family get together so you can play some games and then we moved on to some night lights here we've got a disco light that we use every christmas um that we just have a party in the front room. My little one loves it. These little stargazers are also really good. I had one for my little boy and it really calmed him down when he was small. And the lava lamps, which take me back to when I was younger. Then we move on to the Harry Potter stuff. There's lots and lots of Harry Potter things from hot water bottles to drink flasks to mugs. Uh, to more drink bottles there that was a cauldron there that you put stationary in for your desk so again if you've got someone at work that would be really handy for them and, and they'd love it more pens with the house of, ha of harry potter whatever one you are i'm a gryffindor i love gryffindor um and then you had some notepads as well with harry potter if you've got someone who's Going back to school in January, obviously, then getting them a notepad. And then you have more gonks with hot chocolates and, and things like that. They're a bit everywhere. Pokemon drink bottles, uh, different kinds. Princesses and Mickey Mouse. You also have Mickey Mouse cups as well. And then we moved on to the Barbie stuff, a range of Barbie things. These are really good. Uh, it's a door hanger, but they can make it themselves, uh, which will keep them occupied and they'll probably enjoy doing it. Headphones of Barbie and some watches of LOL and Frozen. And this was a Barbie nightlight. It was only £10, so it's not too bad. But a Barbie nightlight there and some notepads and a diffuser, which is more for me. I love a diffuser user more pokemon glasses so a bit more expensive at 16 karaoke lol machine um i was thinking of getting that for my nieces more to just to annoy my brother than anything else uh some more hot water bottles and this was a friends one so if you know someone who loves to program friends um then there's lots of friends things that you could buy them from hot water bottles to coffee flasks these were candles with the names of the characters on there were some bed socks there and glasses as well so again if you know someone who absolutely loves friends tv show get them that and these were night lights of the avengers that you put on the wall more Pokemon things here from cups to many tins that you have to open with a tin opener. And you've also got the watches as well. Moving on to Stranger Things. I've never seen Stranger Things. Is it worth a watch? Do let me know. Um, and door hangers here for Pokemon, Star Wars things and Xbox things. It was all a bit of a mismatch. Nothing seemed overly organised. It was all all over the place that's why everything's just a bit from here to there and the inflatable chair as well which i used to have um moving on to sonic we have the sonic decking station docking station um night lights and then you had um some bottles and door hangers and then they had these pigs, which I'm not sure what they are, but my son seems to love it. I think one was a nightlight and one was a money box. Um, and, you know, I'm not really into Minecraft. My little one's not into Minecraft at the moment. And as you moved along, it kind of repeated itself again. So again, this was a Sonic deck docking station with the watches uh, and more Minecraft stuff as well. Um, I don't really know what that was, but then they moved over after this onto Xbox stuff. Um, so I'm not really sure what all this Minecraft thing is. Is your little ones into Minecraft? I think mine is ish into it but not overly if you know someone's getting an xbox go and get them a lot of xbox accessories um that would be really good and maybe decorate their room as an xbox or you could do the same thing with a playstation 2 now we're moving on to the makeup section there's a lot here 
So there was makeup bags and bath bombs and makeup brushes. So this set of makeup brush was only £9. Then you had a lot of different makeup bits and pieces and it ranged from someone quite small all the way up into adults and beyond. And the prices wasn't overly expensive. So there was some where you could just buy the eyeshadow um, and a few lip glosses and some you could buy the entire set. So again, there was hair brushes um, and more... Um, makeup brushes, some nail varnishes here as well. Um, there is one a bit later, which is pastel, which I really liked. I did like the pastel ones. Again, as you can see, it's just eye makeup stuff, which is only £4. Or you could go a little bit more and get a few other bits and pieces for 12 This was a pastel eyeshadow, which wouldn't come out of the box and I only had one hand. That was six. And then you had this massive makeup case as well. This is what was great for an older person for Secret Santa. Um, so if you're not sure what to get them, again, more eye makeup as well. Depending on the style of the recipient you're going to give it to, there was a range of things there for them. Um, and then you had lots of different makeup y uh, bits and pieces, again, for all ages. Then we're moving on to the aftershave and the perfume. Um, so this was little things that, again, they could be easily stocking fillers or you could buy it somewhere. So this Impulse uh, perfume body spray was only £2.99. Um, I think these are great, especially to have in the back of the cupboard. You know, it's like in case someone turns out of a gift and you're like, oh, God, I've got nothing. At least you've got something there. Sarah Jessica perfume here, two bottles of perfume and two travel perfumes for only £20, which I didn't think was that bad and then you had um, some perfume a travel perfume and moisturizer too there was a different range of perfumes here for all different ages and all different people that would like different smells obviously uh, so it depended on your budget this was in a bauble which i thought was really cool and, and something a little bit different as well and then we move on to more perfume here like bit more cheaper perfume. Oh, here's the smaller bottles of Sarah Jessica Parker. If you travel away with work a lot, they'd be great just to stuff in your bag. Um, some impulse stuff that I usually put one of those in my sports bag or something. Um, and then you had Jasper Comran as well. And it was only £12.99, which I didn't think was too bad. Uh, the impulse stuff was only £5.49. And then you had French Connection, which I think was £10.99. So again, good brand names and not a massively expensive price. Prices. This is our hair products. So you have combs and brushes. Um, and again, we have all this makeup stuff again, again for all different ages and all different styles. An our beauty night thing and also a UV nail dryer, which I couldn't find the price unfortunately with that one. Um, and then they range from like £4 all the way up to like £10, £20. That was only £8 though, so not too bad. More makeup brushes, so depending on the style and the colour of the person that uh, you're going to be giving this to, you can take your pick of what they would like. Um, and then there were some makeup bags as well to put all of this stuff in which is only £6. Moving on to a load of bath bombs here, all different from cakes and donuts. Um, and then you had the Squishmallows as well. They're £5 for six of them, but there's also a bigger one, which was £3.50. Uh, so if you're going to be doing like a pamper box like I have for my niece, that would be a really good thing to put in. Um, and then you've got nail varnishes here as well and more bath bombs, all different shapes and sizes of different things of bath bombs and not overly expensive again. So that was only four pound um, and then you had squashes and stitch there too wasn't much stitch stuff if you got someone that loves stitch i would probably go to Primark because there it's crazy there there's lots of stitch things there again cakes and donuts of bath bombs and then you've got the l hair products again from straighteners to hair dryers and again, eleven ninety nine for straighteners. I don't think is that bad a price. Um, it's probably not going to be no GHD, but you know it's still a good price. A smaller travel hair straighteners, which are good for six ninety nine, and a curling tong here for eight ninety nine. Um, and again, a massive hair dryer there for twelve ninety nine. There was lots of ranges of hair dryers, so you could buy well, just a hair dryer or you could buy it in a bag with a few other bits and pieces as well. Um, and that was £22.99 with the bag. Lots of different colours. If you know someone that's like bright colours and loves hot pink and purple, really girly, these would be a good idea uh, to purchase one of them. 
if um if you wanted to uh so they're only 17.99 those hair straighteners and then more hair dryers down here again it's ranging from 17 all the way to 25 30 pound and then you had a uh, ladies and gentlemen products so toothbrushes hair trimmers shavers um, even beard trimmers if you know someone that's got a quite a long beard my brother has a very long beard so a beard trimmer would be good but I think he's already got one um, a range of different things are depending on who you want to give it to links bags um, it's not Christmas without seeing links somewhere is it you see it all year but at Christmas it goes up a notch uh, and then you had some shower jars of Squishmallows and Disney um, and J2O and there was Tango as well I don't really understand that why can't it just be normal but whatever whatever you want millions shower gel and lip balm there too um I thought I was going to drop them all and some friends things I think these were lip balms or bath bombs I'm not sure Coco Melon there and LOL so again a range of different things for all different ages here uh, and though these are the pastel um, nail varnishes that I really really liked I thought they were really pretty again this was um stitch uh lip balm so stitch lip balms there and then you had the barbie nail varnishes as well so if you know someone that loves barbie and some more disney products too you had this disney princess nail varnishes in the shapes of the princess bottles and i think they're only like six to eight pound there back onto the bath bombs more for like the gamers here so you had xbox you had stranger things again shower gels and bath bombs and you had the avengers shower gels and xbox shower gels and bath bombs too star wars avengers and mario the gold things were the mario bath bombs and these were the shower gels if you've got someone that is football crazy again after they've been playing football and got on hot and sweaty give them a bath bomb and shower gel and gamers too these dinosaur ones are really really good uh, with this you put them in the bath with that little hammer you smash it and it opens all up sonic lip balm and again bath bombs bath bombs galore you can't go wrong if you want to buy someone a bath bomb go to b&m star wars there and the grinch before that and more dinosaurs just here too and then you had the Buzz Lightyear, which I still haven't watched that most recent one. Elf bath bombs, which are great for a Christmas Eve bath, to put them in there before they get their Christmas Eve box. And the Nerf gun one as well. Moving on to more links. So again, as I said, I feel like when it comes to Christmas, links goes up a notch. It just seems to be everywhere. Nivea for men here too. And I think there was Dove somewhere as well for them, as well as French Connection. And then you had some little bags here for makeup brushes. Um, there were some more shower gels. And this was, I think that was body butter and um, shower jelly and things like that. Um, as And here you had like a big circle of creams and moisturizers and scrubs that you could buy someone yeah it was shower scrub shower jelly and body butter just there kind of the smaller tubs or the slightly larger tubs um, and then again you had Nivea for women um, all different ranges like lots of different products will be all different sizes for you so depending on what kind of size you want to buy um, they were some which are really nice luxury and some were just cheap that was just like a quick stocking filler that you could just give someone quickly if you maybe forgotten a gift or not sure what to get somebody so there was like you could buy some with it all in a bag as well so they had the bag to carry around radox for those lovely warm baths uh, to soak those muscles that we all need from time to time don't we and then back on some men there was a dove men uh, French Connection men, Adidas men. So lots of different things for men and women here, not just all women. There's a, a range of different things for everybody. You really can't go too wrong in B&M. There is something for everyone. If you're stuck for a gift, go and spend half an hour, 45 minutes around B&M, you'll find something. And finally, onto the drink section, you had the cider, you had the wine, Coke, 
uh, bottle with a glass, a uh, mulled wine bottle with two mugs, which I thought was a nice little couple's gift, baby sham, which I remember my mum drinking when I was a kid. And then you have Baylor's set and Baylor's hot chocolate. And it's not a Christmas mug either, so you can have it all year round. Um, and then you had obviously your wine and chocolates or wine and a glass uh, and things like that. Uh, beer selections, rum selections, and you had these... Um, I think they brew dog ones down the bottom. And I thought the Star Wars ones were really good. The two bottles of ale and a glass as well for Stormtrooper, if you know a Star Wars mad fan. Um, so, yeah, lots of different things that you could have. Uh, more wine with wine glasses. Um, Dead Man's something, I couldn't see it, sorry. Disarano there, Famous Grouts, Baby Sham. Um and a fireball. So if you want to buy someone a fireball, great big tank of a drink there. Guinness bottles. Uh, I'm not sure what else was in that. Um, and then you had this, um, I'm not sure what that is. I think that might be gin. But lots of different things, lots of different uh, drinking ideas, single malt whiskey for £7.50. I don't think it's too bad. Then you've got the famous grouse, which you can have a hot toddy. Again, it's not a Christmas mug, so you can use it all year round. Uh, a mixology, a Serrano and Coke. And these beautiful white wine and rosé wine of a nice crystallised glass. Budweiser with popcorn in, which I thought was really good. Uh, and Guinness with fudge. So there's lots of drink ideas here for you if you know a drinker. Uh, that's pretty much it for B&M. I'll be doing the range next. Uh, so do go around B&M and have a look. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Join my Facebook group, group a link in the description box below. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this B&M videos. I'm off to the range soon and to home bargains. I'll be sharing those with you. I hope you have a great day today and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.